Welcome to episode 62 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. We're rocking it Run DMC style with the microphone, and we are coming to you from the very, very bottom tip of Central Park. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. I just spent a couple of days in New York City, and I always like coming here. If you listen to the podcast, you know why. It's because I feel energized when I get around other people and the other energy and exposed to new ideas and thoughts. There's so much going on right now in my life, um, in business life, releasing a book in a couple weeks. Let's hit that ding. And we are having an event on May 8th in Rochester, New York, Clarity Con Automotive. So that is heavy on my mind. We have a growing agency. We are getting into a new building because our team is growing so fast. And coming to New York City, for me, even though it's energizing, it's always one of those things that slows me down a little bit. And I know that seems kind of ironic and you see the traffic in the back and you hear the horns, but it slows me down because I realize that my little corner of the world that seems so important to me all the time is just one little corner of the world and I'm around a bunch of other people that are all going about their own business, their own lives, their own aspirations and it slows me down internally and I start to really think about what it is that I'm doing. I think about the trajectory that I'm heading in and today I want to talk about a theme that came up while I was here and that theme is that innovation is a choice. Innovation is not a magic ability. And it's really easy for us to look at people that we would say are innovative and say, well, that's not me, I can't do that. And like a lot of things I talk about, this really does span pretty much every area of life because innovation isn't just for a business application. Innovation isn't just for technology. Innovation is also for personal growth and relationships and parenting. Innovation is basically a reinventing of yourself on a new principle. So when I say innovation is a choice, people can think that it's for other people. I'm not innovative. I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough. I don't have enough discipline. I don't, I don't, I don't. And people begin to use that as an excuse. Well, today is the day that changes because being innovative starts with your decision and your mindset to say, today I choose to be innovative. I choose to try something else. I choose to take a step into figuring out what isn't working. Why is my business stalled? Why is my relationship falling apart or not functioning the way I want it to? You can't just innovate and leave it there. That doesn't work. It doesn't work in business because the market and competitors catch up. Innovation is a constant progress. It's a constant practice. The bottom line is I choose to keep trying. I choose to keep going. Business, same thing. I choose to do something different, to take all the pieces of what I have and break them apart and rearrange them again. Maybe it's the same pieces. If you are a retail business, you break the pieces apart of your value proposition say, actually, let me reimagine what type of value I could rearrange these pieces in and bring to a consumer. It's a choice. Clarity is also a choice. Sure, I can't choose that I want clarity on any specific issue right now, but I can choose to pursue clarity because you never know when it's going to be found. You never know when it comes to you, but it's the pursuit of it and it's the goal being the progress toward the clarity that really is the difference maker between the people that have it and the people that don't. Accountability for your choices is the theme of today's podcast. And being in New York City, I'm around millions and millions of other people that are making choices and pursuing different things. So that's really my hope for all of this content. That's my hope for the audience. And I know a lot's going on around automotive. We have the book that's coming out and the event that we're launching on May 8th. People have to choose whether or not they're going to engage these things. People have to choose whether or not you're going to take steps forward toward that goal you have. Choose to be innovative. Choose to pursue clarity. That's all you can do most of the time because we really can't control what happens to us in life. I can't control if a car comes careening across this. and I can't control these things. Lots of things in life I can't control. People get sick. They can't control it. People will have tragedy. They can't control it. What we can control is how we respond 
to every situation that's presented to us. And guess what? That response begins right here. So talking about innovation, talking about clarity, talking about choice, one thing that I leave you with is that you get to choose to be innovative. You get to choose clarity or to pursue clarity. You get to choose how you respond to everything that comes your way. Okay, so that's three things. But it's the same thing, really. So that's it for episode 62. Coming at you fast and furious in a New York minute. I think it's pretty appropriate that it's a short podcast because everything in New York goes by like this. It's fun to rock the mic, run DMC style. Maybe I'll do it more often. And that's my hope for you. May you pursue clarity this week. May you pursue innovation this week. And may you understand that the very first thing you can control in any situation in life is how you think about it and your reaction to it. Clarity Compressed Podcast coming to you from New York City. I think it's only appropriate we do a mic drop. So I was so excited to get this over in a New York minute. I forgot to talk about a few things that are going on. Number one, thank you so much for following the content. If I've brought you any value at all over the last years, I want you to know we're doing a few things I think you might be interesting. Number one, releasing a book in just a week or two. You can pre-order it at theautomotivemanifesto.com. It's a book primarily for automotive, but actually it's a book for people that want to understand branding and marketing better. A lot of content on that. Second, we're putting on a live event in Rochester on May 8th called ClarityCon Automotive. This is an event that dealers can bring their leadership teams to have high access to some national level speakers so you can get your questions answered and get your team aligned finally I'm gonna be at DMSC in Napa um, we're gonna put the dates below uh, coming up in a few weeks in May where again we're gonna be talking automotive branding and marketing talking sessions I hear you honker thank you I know you're honking for the clarity compressed podcast and finally create some content this week whatever you're doing make something share it with the world DM me, share it with me, I'll watch it. I'll let you know what I think and I'll encourage you. Hopefully you have a good shot of positivity this week wherever you are, in the car, walking the dog, eating breakfast, getting ready to go to bed. Thanks for being a part of this community. Clarity Compressed Podcast, pursue clarity today.